another edition of USA up all night. Last week, a fan came up to me and said, Rhonda, we love you and we love your movies, but do you ever have films for the whole family? So I'm proud to say that tonight is one of those nights that the whole family will want to get around the set to watch our show. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Actually, it's not a night for the whole family. It's more of a night for sons and fathers. But hey, that's a start. For the Suns, we have our first film, Getting Lucky, which takes place in the 1980s and shows a lot of girls running around in short skirts and tight tops. And for the Fathers, we have our second film, Swinging Summer, which takes place in the 1960s and shows a lot of girls running around in short skirts and tight tops. It's a perfect night for dads and sons to bond together. Let's start with our film Getting Lucky. Oh, and by the way, take note how well the girls in this film can walk and talk at the same time. You'll definitely want to compare them to Raquel Welch's performance in Swinging Summer, if you even notice the performance. Hi, gang. We're in the beginning of our film, Getting Lucky. And all I can say to Tony and Chrissy is, no sense crying over spilled milk, even when it's thrown on you. Psst. Psst. Hey! Rhonda! You? Yeah! Do <coughs> you like a Kleenex? No! <coughs> what do you want? I need you to rub me! You need me to rub you? Yeah! I don't want to rub you the wrong way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> better? That's so much better. Yes, you and I are going on an adventure tonight, Rhonda. Yes, yes, get ready. Rub me harder. And I will take you to a magical land of fantasy. I have no idea why I'm doing this, but heck, I'm willing. I'm Rhonda. Here we go now. Just like Jeannie from I Dream of Jeannie. You guys go to commercial and I'll put this outfit to good use. Hey, I'll be I Dream of Rhonda. Something the suits do at USA every night. <laughs> USA up all night. As you know, my special magic lamp has put me in the world of I Dream of Rhonda. So I figured I should take it to a place where it would truly be appreciated at the best Moroccan restaurant in all of Los Angeles, Dar Maghreb. And I am feeling just a little bit hungry. So if you don't mind. May we help you, Rhonda? Wow, Rhonda likes these genie tricks. Let's go back to our film, Getting Lucky, and I'll see what else I can conjure up. Woo! Like that. Hi, kids. You're dreaming of Ron here in USA up all night as we enjoy all of the treats of Dar Maghreb restaurants. You might not know this, but in Morocco, the first thing they do is, yes, your waiter comes over and gives you a towel and water so that you can wash your hands. Very nice. Thank you. Very nice. But anyway, they've gone ahead and given Rhonda a special treat. A little more, please. Thank you. That's very nice. All right, you guys go to commercial, and we'll return with more of our film, Getting Lucky. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm getting lucky with Ahmed. <laughs> do you do manicure? I thought so. It's L.A. <laughs> While I fluff my pillow, so, so, <laughs> so to speak, you go and see what kind of trouble Lepke tries to get Bill into as they try to get lucky. Ah, enough fluffing already. <laughs> back to USA up all night where we dream of Rhonda here at Dar Maghreb. You know, I have a few questions and I think I should ask someone authentic like the owner. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Hi, Rhonda. Now, I need to know what Dar Maghreb means. It means a Moroccan house. A very nice, be oh, a beautiful Moroccan house. Well, thank you. Now, now you're the co-owner and the co-builder. Co-builder. You built this fabulous place with your own little hands? Well, I had a little help. A little help and, and these beautiful tiles? Yes. That is amazing. Can you come over 
over and, and do the we do the Rhonda apartment for me? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Can you also find me a very wealthy sheik who could take me off on his magic carpet? Of course. Please come here right away. Oh, I love this. Okay. In the meantime, you guys go to a commercial while Mary works this out for me. And after our commercial, we're going to head back to our film, Getting Lucky, which maybe I can do now. <laughs> Where's that sheik? <laughs> here at Bar Maghreb, and I'm not sure about it, but I think that my waiter's getting just a little bit fresh with me. Excuse me, but could you tell me what besides yourself, waiter, is the Moroccan specialty of the house? Couscous. Gesundheit. No, I'm talking about what is the specialty, your food specialty of the house. Couscous. Either I need a translator or Charo needs to come by and tell me what's the difference between couscous and coochie coochie. <laughs> oh, garçon, can we do that finger washing thing just like one more time? Rhonda likes that. <laughs> couscous. Hi, gang. Well, I didn't think that it could actually happen, but finally our film has an important plot point. Did you notice in the last scene, Chrissy finally wore something other than her cheerleading uniform? And who says they don't know how to write scripts these days? Huh. And speaking of writing, you know, here I am sitting at beautiful Dharma Greb and all the surroundings. And you might not know it, but this beautiful relief above me actually says something. Let me check my Arabic dictionary. Well, what a coincidence. It actually says, go to commercial. Wow, imagine that. I didn't even know that that USA Network was in Morocco. <sighs> Live and learn. We'll be back. You know, Ron is just a little busy right now. You know, anytime I get a chance to get fed grapes by hand, I just can't resist. Ah, I'm just getting lucky. Mmm. Mmm. Nice camel. Mmm. You guys go back to our film, Getting Lucky, and hey, could you peel the next one for Rhonda? Nice camel. I dream of Ronda Knight here at Dharma Grab. And wow, that Chrissy was doing a lot of shaking that last segment of Getting Lucky. Uh, <laughs> not as much shaking as Shahira here. I think I can try this. What do you think? Wow. Anyway, this is a lot of fun and good exercise after you've eaten a good meal. You guys go to commercial and we'll be back faster than two shakes of a belly dancer's tail. <laughs> Let's go to our film, Getting Lucky, and see if anyone has gotten it yet. And while you guys are gone, I'll stay here at Dharma Grab and see what else is shaking. <laughs> Hi, everybody. And we're in the middle of our film, Getting Lucky. And I hope you liked that last segment. After all, it had the most important ingredient of all of our films, the shower scene. And speaking of showers, I really like the tile here at Dharma Grab. I wouldn't mind having some of it at the Rhonda apartment. I understand all of this tile is an exact replica of ancient Moroccan tile. Wait a minute. I don't think credit cards got started in Morocco. And if they did, shouldn't it be a Marrakesh? Don't leave home without it. In the meantime, you guys go to a commercial. We'll be back with more of USA up all night. It's Rhonda here at Dharma Grab, where everyone's dreaming of Rhonda. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ahmed. There's only one little slight problem that Rhonda sees. There's no utensils, there's no fork. Could you get Rhonda a fork? So in the Moroccan tradition, you have to use what Allah gave you. No, sorry, ma'am. No, sorry. Ron.
on to here at Dharma Grab. Oh, it's wonderful here. The food is so different. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. What's that? Pigeon. Pigeon? Sure. You don't believe me? Look, he brought you a message. Great. The food and talks. Let's go back to our film, Getting Lucky, for more action. What a brave bird. He just happened to make a wrong turn at the kitchen. We'll be back. Hi, gang. We're in the middle of our film, Getting Lucky, in I Dream of Rwanda Night here on USA Up All Night. And before we go back to our film, I'd like to do the Rwanda interview with our belly dancer, Shahira. Now, let me just ask you a couple of questions. I know that you won the Miss Belly Dance America 1990. Miss America of the Belly Dance, the belly dance. 1990. Now that, that's pretty awesome. Now I want to know, was there, was there a talent? Uh, obviously it was talent. And did you have to do like the interview and the top All the I questions? had to do was dance. That's it? All I had to do. You didn't have to like be nice to the judges or anything? <laughs> well, can you just show us what won? Give us like your best belly dance move. Go on, go for it. I will... Oh my gosh! We have surprises here for you on USA Up All Night. I think with that, I'm just going to throw it right back to our film. We'll be back. Can you teach you on to that? Wow. Ooh. Hi, gang. You know, it's not every day that I get to recreate a scene from our movie, but I just can't resist. On guard. I said, fight like a camel. Oh, you guys go to commercial, and we'll come back to the final segment of our film, Getting Lucky. I said, on guard. <laughs> I can see why the producers wrote this into the film. You just can't beat dueling shish kebabs with a stick. You're a wimp. You're a wimp. dream of Rhonda here at Dharma Greb. And I'm enjoying the food very much. But every time I look at this bread basket, I can't help but think how much the top of it reminds me of a dunce cap. Don't you agree? <laughs> oh, and speaking of dunce caps, don't forget to watch Gilbert Gottfried on Saturday night at the same time for his show on the USA Network. Now, let's go to the final segment of our film, Getting Lost. Hi, gang. It's I Dream of Rhonda Night here at Don Grab. Enjoyed our first film, Getting Lucky. Yeah. We've just completed our meal here, and it was so wonderful, but I think I'm ready for just a little bit of tea. Oh, waiter, may I have some tea, please? Ooh, very nice. Very oh, good shot. You must never miss one. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Let's start our second film, Swinging Summer, and see what happens when you take early rock and mix it with bikinis. Wait, did I say rock? I mean early Raquel and mix it with bikinis. You get big ratings. That's what you get. Okay, it's time for Swinging Summer. Can I have some more tea? Can I have some more tea? Wow. Thanks, Ahmed. Love that sound. Gang, I could just do this genie thing all night long. Let's see, how about a little memento to remember my trip to Morocco? Boy, it's a good thing it's not a real one. Your humps weigh a ton. You guys should go to commercial and we'll return with more of USA up all night. Haven't we met at some oasis before? Sure, I think it was in Vegas, remember? I remember. Shh. <laughs> Oh, hi everybody. Welcome back to USA. Up all night. You know, I think I'll use my genie powers to presto in some Arab sheik. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Rhonda. Well, why not, Magic Hollywood Lamp? Because you're just a little too greedy. <laughs> and you, my little precious 
Arab Shikat have overstayed your time in the I dream of run the world. And now, <laughs> my precious pet, it is time to turn you back into the Ronda Cuddly Couch Companion. Well, what if I don't want to? Then Lamp, um, do your stuff. <laughs> hey, not bad. <laughs> well, okay, why don't you guys go back to our film Swinging Summer and see if you can recognize Raquel Welsh in the crowd of people. In case you don't know, she's the one with the eyebrows from outer space. If you even notice her eyebrows. Okay, kids, I want you to use this commercial break to calm yourself down. After all, we'll be having a lot more scenes of Raquel Welsh, so you better pace yourself. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to USA Up All Night. Rhonda's mail call, and boy, do I have a letter for you. Rhonda, up all night. Hello, my name is Mark J.B. Parks. I'm in the Air Force, and I'm stationed in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I'm not sure how to start this letter, but if it sounds corny at first, it will get better later on. Ooh. I've been in the Air Force for seven years. I served proudly in Saudi Arabia for seven months, and I sure... Could have used a sexy lady like you over there. <laughs> What's the matter, Mark? They wear too many veils over there? Well, anyway, that's why Rhonda couldn't be over there, but I'm happy you're back, Mark. I'm so happy. Anyway, let's go back to our film, Swinging Summer, because you won't want to miss Gary Lewis performing his hit number, What Do the French See in My Dad? Because it ain't there for me. I think you'll enjoy it. Mark, baby, seven is your lucky number. Seven years. Hey, how about those Miss Lake Arrowhead contestants? They had their good points, didn't they? But with bathing suits like that, how could they miss? Hi, gang. Welcome back to USA Up All Night. And we're in the middle of our film, Swinging Summer. You know, I better take a minute to explain something to you. This is a malt. And a long time ago, teenagers used to meet in a place called a malt shop. They would sit around, drinking malts, and talking with other teenagers. Yes, why am I explaining this to you now? Because before we roll this next segment, I thought I'd better remind you that the producers of this film want you to believe that all of those middle-aged people are supposed to be teenagers. And it's a cheap excuse for me to enjoy a malt and a cherry. Enjoy the clip. I'll enjoy the sip. How did you enjoy that old mistake the back of a guy with a girl joke? Here's a secret. There's not a man in the world that could be mistaken for Rhonda's front or back. <laughs> well, actually, maybe one. Hi, Shauna here for USA Up All Night. Here I am backstage at the Fame Female Impersonator Follies. Boy, oh boy. Oh, there's so many feathers back here. Rhonda loves feathers. Oh, but here's our exciting male props. Dancers they are. Ken, Dennis. <laughs> Come on, boys. Quick, Rhonda's on a schedule. Busy schedule. This is Dennis. He's our yeah. number one male prop. And here's number two, Ken. Aren't they studs? Aren't they butching Rhonda's leather jacket? Oh, they make Rhonda's hormones go wild. Thanks, Sean Derrick from Las Vegas and his Boy Oh Boy review. I understand imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, and I'm honored. But do me one favor. You're a shade too light. I'm honey blonde, not platinum. As much as you like looking at me, I think we'll go ahead and show you the rest of the movie. But don't worry, there are some shots of Raquel Welsh that are worth going back for, if you're into that look. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to USA Up All Night. You know, I've been reading from my book all about films in the 60s, and it says that movies from that period basically had simple dialogue and uncomplicated plots. 
I don't know what they mean. I'm pretty sure when we go back to our film, Swinging Summer, one of the characters actually buys a hamburger. That sounds like a plot twist to me. While you guys go to commercial, Rhonda will look up her favorite chapter of this book, James Bond Women. Where are they now? I'll tell you where they all are. They're married to millionaires and living in Florida. That's where. Hey, gang. We've got something coming up that I know you're going to love. Musical numbers. Ooh, pinch me. Oh, <laughs> Just knock it off. Now, don't you think it was sweet the way that Cindy and Rick made up? Yeah. Good. I like when you're a nice camel. I just love it when love shines through. I guess I'm just a sentimental fool. <laughs> you guys go to commercial, and we'll be back for more of our movie, Swinging Summer. Okay, knock it off. I work alone, all right, babe? The funny thing is, I thought Rick was gay. Duh, -uh, he's just festive. I dated him last week. Stow it, Camel. <laughs> Hello, true confession. I have a confession. I watch Gilbert Gottfried on Saturday night on USA Network at this same time for his show. Oh, no! I know, I lied. <laughs> Boy, I feel better now that I got that off my chest, so to speak. Now, let's go back to our film for more of Swinging Summer. You're cute. Hey, kids, you know, I don't think people play chicken anymore. Heck, I'm not even sure people eat it anymore. Let's go to commercial, and we'll be back for more. Oh, hi, gang, and welcome back to USA. Ah! <laughs> All night. You know, I think it's important for me to remind you of something that is critical to the plot line of our film, Swinging Summer. When this film was shot, all these people were alive. I know it's kind of hard to believe by the way they deliver their lines, but let me assure you, they were actually living. Let's go back to our film and watch these performers do their thing, whatever the heck that is. Hey. Wasn't that neat the way the Rip Chords perform that number? Does anyone out there even know who the Rip Chords are? I thought so. Hi everyone, it's Ronda on USA up all night and we're at the final segment of our film, Swinging Summer. I don't know about you, but I'm really anxious to see what happens next. I want to see if Turk gets his butt kicked by Rick or by those thugs. Heck, it would be fun to see Raquel kick it. Let's go to the final segment of our film, Swinging Summer. Oh, gang, that's all we have tonight. I sure hope you liked dreaming of Rhonda and our trip to Dar Maghreb. It was fun visiting a bit of Morocco in the middle of Hollywood, and not once did I step in any camel you-know-what. I also hope you liked our film, Getting Lucky and Swinging Summer. It was fun showing you a retrospective of tight clothes on girls from 1964 to 1984. I'll quiz you on it later. Some of you will want to stay up for our next film, Forever Evil. And it has nothing to do with politics. Next week, I'll have two more films, Evil Dead and The Unholy, and an exciting new location. Until that time, here is a showbiz tradition to keep you warm. The Sizzle Kiss. Good night. <laughs> oh, I'm being cameled. Mm.
Okay, everybody, we here at USA Up All Night, and when I say we, I mean me, want to warn you that our next movie, Forever Evil, is not for the squeamish. After all, Alfie, the villain, will be shot, impaled with a fire poker, stabbed with a butcher knife, run over with a car, and still consider it a good day. Talk about a good sport. I consider my day shot to hell when I forget to pick up the dry cleaning. Okay, let's begin our movie, Forever Evil, before this turns into a forever introduction. Let's hurry up and go to commercial so that we can come back to USA up all night and see more gore. Ooh, goody. I mean, gory. I mean, goody gory. Oh, anyway, go to commercial. Hi, everybody. It's gory movie night here on USA up all night. And I don't mean the Gilbert Gottfried Film Festival. I mean our film, Forever Evil. Let's see if Mark can kill the villain or will he just let the dialogue kill him. Because it's killing me. Ooh. I know that you want to stay and watch more blood and guts, but I think you need a break. Let's go to commercial and we'll return for more bloodletting and gut spilling on USA Up all night. I haven't seen this much action since I watched C-SPAN Senate hearings. Okay, I don't want to take up too much of your time because there's some action and gore coming up in our film Forever Evil. I'm pretty sure it's the next scene where a bunch of girls go to a sale at the mall. <laughs> oh, oh, maybe that's another film. Oh, well, I'm sure there's plenty of blood and guts coming up, even if it's not in a mall. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I hope you liked our film Forever Evil. Were you surprised the way it ended? Nah, neither was I. You can't have a film with forever in the title and think it really ends. That's what cable is for. Oh, well, next week we'll have three more films for you and an exciting new location. Be sure and watch us, and until that time, stay warm and don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds like the title of one of our films, doesn't it? Good night. Stay right where you are. We'll be right back with more of our film on USA Up All Night after these fine messages. It's Rhonda here on USA Up All Night, promising you more fun and more films. So stay right where you are and watch this. Yeah. Hey, why should you stay tuned for more of our film on USA Up All Night? Because Rhonda says so, that's why. And Rhonda knows what's good for you.